Hello my beautiful soul tribe, soul family collective. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through today. I'm going to be using the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. I'm pretty sure we used this in the last reading, can't remember. But uh, We're going to be using this deck and then we're going to be pulling some tarot to dive deeper into the message that's coming through. So let's give the cards a little shuffle, shake up the energy. Maybe we need to shake up our energy, stretch, release, get that out. <sighs> Did some release for our chakra. Okay, message already coming through. If anyone's been seeing green butterflies, even if you haven't, if you've been drawn to the color green, funnily enough, funnily enough, there's a green bag here, but the green butterflies are coming through to me and the green butterflies are the ones who tell me that they cleanse out toxins from the body so this can be things all the way from actual toxins such as clearing out you know uh, acids from your muscles uh, if you have any achy muscles or achy aches or anything uh, this can also be clearing out energy that's kept within our chakras as well uh, this can be clearing out the body from toxins in a way that you are maybe cleansing or you're going to maybe maybe you're going to start i feel like this is a pretense maybe there's something that's going to about to start like a shift in your diet or you're gonna be like redrawn to certain foods or something of that kind there's something about the green butterflies uh helping you to purge right now yeah as you come into this activation so I feel like there's going to be new energy activating within your chakras and it's actually pushing through and out old stagnant energies or old um and and this is on a 3D and 5D 4D level. So when I say toxins, I mean that old stagnant energy that lays in our chakras is now being activated to be released this can either be through situations this can be through memories popping up maybe we are just uh, letting our energy having a time to let go and maybe some things come up out from the surface we're really just letting flow through us it really feels like the pipes are being cleaned out in activation for something okay i'm getting another analogy popping my head from spirit now and they are saying that you know the soils our chakras yeah they have been laying for a while we've been going along as it comes closer to summer um and i know that this isn't like technically bright or anything but as we're coming close to summer we're actually being activated in new ways for new inspiration for new directions for new feelings to pull us in new directions but before that, we're actually being cleared out and the soil is being prepared for the seeds that we're going to plant next. So right now, how spirit is putting it in my mind is that energetically, internally, the fields are being sown. The fields are being raked. Okay, we're taking the weeds out. We're ruffling up the soil. We are cleansing the soil. We are pre-preparing it, ready for those seeds to be planted, which makes me think that there's going to be a lot of new energy soon to come to grow in your life. But there's some clearing that needs to happen before before that. Now, maybe this clearing is just um, the closing out of some healing cycles that are still ongoing. Maybe this healing is clearing out of some people, places, or loose ends or cords that are still ongoing maybe these loose ends are energetic cords to people who are no longer in your life but maybe energetically in a mental realm still attached um basically this big purging this big cleansing this big detox um it really is preparing the way for your life to to change in a many 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 different ways i do get this feeling that these changes that are coming they are bringing some form of stability to you whether that be they're bringing you a source of income whether that be they're bringing a form of stability to you in a way that uh what is coming is going to make you feel secure because you can gain happiness from it gain passion from it uh, gain purpose from it you know some of the things that are coming if it's inspiration so so many ways i'm getting this could be money bringing you stability and a sense of foundation this can be passion inspiration bringing you a sense of security and happiness through the way that it makes you feel this could be uh, a community of some kind lighting you up and making you feel supported this can also be um as i said if this is anything that you start creating or doing this can be you accumulating 
to feel in an abundance of say you start a new passion you're going to start accumulating um or maybe it's an ongoing passion you're going to start accumulating more of the same but different so say i start making tarot readings and then you know in abundance of i end up with loads like what i'm saying is you're making progress that's what spirit's trying to say whatever it is you've been doing you're making progress there's layers being added there is more coming into it it's almost as if you are becoming this magnet because of the way that your soil is it's going to be fertile for anything that's planted okay this is very interesting um because this is almost like you're becoming this container that when these new ideas, these new situation, people, places, things, opportunities come, you are going to be in such a way on an internal level, in a mindset, the way that you feel about life, the perspective you hold, that these things that you're aligning with are going to fit like a glove and they are going to bloom and flourish effortlessly. I'm hearing effortlessly. Wow, energy energy is being ignited we're going to take this card as the card for this reading and we've also got uncertainty yes yeah, so there's a lot of uncertainty we're walking into there's a lot of new intense energy rising like this girl here that is either making us feel like we want to move or it's making us uh see in ways where we feel confined still because the bottom of her is a tree um it's almost as if this power and energy is being ignited within you and 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 it's creating big change i mean this is giving me tower card energy as well uh with the lightning coming down but you see the lightning striking you it's almost giving me frankenstein vibes when the lightning comes down and brings him to life there's something being brought to life there's like dormant parts of you being reignited into being and these parts that you're reclaiming could be from shadow these parts you're reclaiming are parts of confidence motivation and and belief in yourself and this is actually creating a strong energy of determination from that energy that you are going to just be, I just feel uh, tunnel vision. I feel tunnel vision. I feel like you have a, some of you have a decision or something you've been weighing up, look, like this girl, like she's weighing up. And it seems like when that is weighed up, like when it is the time, it's going to ignite and you're going to be very tunnel vision down. With this uncertainty, there could be many different pathways open to you in a sense that maybe there's a lot of potential timelines that you could walk down or that you feel guided towards right now. Maybe, you know, there's more than one butterfly that you're trying to follow, but you're saying, well, which one do I follow? Which butterfly, which path do I take? But you seem like the type of person that when, yeah, when when you're sure about one of these butterflies, you're going to tunnel vision uh, almost timeline jump into this new reality that things are going to be growing effortlessly for you this gives me alice in wonderland vibes how she's wandered uh making me think of that quote that uh, classic quote not all who wander are lost and nor waiting to be found is what i always say as well not all that one not all those who wander are lost nor waiting to be found sometimes the point in the journey is being lost you know what I'm saying? Because being lost draws us to new places. You're making a discovery that you've never discovered before, whether this be, this is both, this is internally and externally. Uh, from this internal dis discovery, it's creating more outside pathways for you to go down forward. This internal discovery is coming from a time where you feel lost so in the forest you may always walk this is an analogy again <laughs> you may always walk the same pathway but one day this girl actually got lost and she got panicked for a while until she came across these three butterflies she has no idea where she is and a lot of the time in life we can feel this way we can feel lost we can feel in uncertainty we can feel lost within our own mind within within our own feelings within our own inner compass and direction and it's in this getting lost that we find a new direction we had never ever ever seen before it's in this getting lost that this girl stumbled across these butterflies and these butterflies were her spirit guides and they said don't worry you don't need to be found just keep following the path keep traveling round keep following the twist keep following the turns keep traveling down those roads no matter how uncertain because there are no right or wrong choices these spirit guides of yours these butterflies this forest that you walk in you may feel lost but all the paths connect together all 
the paths which she hasn't even walked in this forest. They all lead to one another. They all lead to the same place. So Spirit's saying it doesn't matter which butterfly you pick. You will always be led home. You will always be reunited to this feeling of being found. To this feeling of um, direction. But what, we're, what I think we're getting at now is that we're making growth and feeling comfortable in uncomfort and feeling comfortable in uncertainty, feeling comfortable in being lost. Because think about it, if you're lost in a forest, you're probably going to be panicking because you don't know where you are. But as soon as we give up and stop to panic and look around, we're looking at these beautiful energies, emotions and, and, and places in this forest that we've never seen before. And we're just taking it all in. And it's like, yeah, we don't know how to feel because you are going through a massive transformation right now. Coming out of the shell, look, there's you coming out, becoming this butterfly out of this cocoon, uh, maybe out of this feeling of feeling dark for a while, maybe feeling ice but just feeling dark because maybe you feel a bit lost because spirit's been leading you uh blindly and not blindly you don't know this but you've been aware that you're going somewhere you've been aware that the compass is shifting that your directions are changing because maybe there hasn't been a clear one forward maybe there's been a few on your mind but you have been aware that there are new beginnings on the horizon that's where you have been being led to and that have been led to like the daffodils here could be a synchronicity boop Blue butterflies, pearls, mushrooms, uh, medicines, herbal healing, flowers, red butterflies, yellow and blue. <clears throat> Yeah, so the blue butterflies are the aligners in wow, the <laughs> the blue butterflies are the aligners in the material realm. They're aligning you with some opportunities recently. They're aligning you with some people and, and also um it's really interesting because as you're being aligned, you're as you're being aligned with these opportunities uh almost as if you don't know what they are but it's like they're already planned for you it's this role of leadership that's coming out as well as this role of flexibility so we're being asked how much can we bend uh you know how how flexible are we in this willow spirit energy in this energy of trying to find a a, a solid sanctuary a solid foundation and and you know earth signs you don't have to be an earth sign, but with this willow spirit, it's giving me earth energy with flexibility. There's this sense of routine. There's this sense of structure. There's this sense of, yeah, foundations, home, maybe being disrupted into some type of chaos, causing this stillness of reflection and letting go. And this letting go and things like that, it's caused this direction to feel like you're spinning on the wheel, that there's a lot of uncertainty, but you know for a fact, no matter what happens, you are stepping into new. You're stepping into an opportunity that maybe you're aware of or not aware of that holds you that applies you to be flexible that applies you to hold this energy of flexibility within trying to find your own stability which is a very conflicting energy but that's what it is right um and this sense of leadership's coming out here for you as well that um you're, even though everything may feel quite chaotic, it's allowed you to rise into this leadership role. Now, this can be in many different ways. This can be work-wise, this can be passion-wise, this can be within your community. But overall, how I'm feeling it is this leadership role within your own life, taking the reins, taking charge and taking control of your own path, your own story and your own independence as well. And becoming independent in this sanctuary, following the right rabbit look, knowing you're protected by your spirit guides, having trust having faith even in the uncertain even when we are lost knowing that all paths do lead home but actually we needed to get lost to have some type of revelation some type of breakthrough or um stillness okay within the lostness you know there's no one there imagine you're literally lost in a forest there's going to be a moment where you give up and sit down and all that you're left with is stillness to look around and it's in this stillness that spirit wanted or, or spirit shapes us to get to. They wear us down, they break us down. Uh, or like, you know, our own mind can be uh, a place that's very chaotic in these times. <clears throat> what it does is it wears us down, breaks us down to this stillness, to this ten of swords energy of the mind giving up. And when it does this, we come across new reflections, new realizations from our shadow, from looking straight into the mirror of the depths of our soul. Three, 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 three could be a significant number. Um... And do you know what's coming out of this journey? Pure miracle. Look at all these butterflies. And you know what butterflies are sticking out a lot? Is the red ones. Like This is what we were saying earlier. Following the flow to where you are called to. Following the twists. Following the turns. Um, 
because you are literally on a journey of manifesting your dreams. At points in that journey, it's going to feel very foggy and we're going to be tested and we're going to be having opportunities to test our patience. To And in this time of patience, it's directly linked with hope. Patience and hope are a coin. Patience, hope and trust is a trilogy. We can only have patience if we have trust and we have hope. Otherwise, it does not exist. And so this is what we've been gaining. We've been gaining patience through building more trust and hope and optimism in ourselves to uh, reassure ourselves that, you know, we will find happiness that we will manifest them dreams that we will always be led even if the past is even if the past the past <clears throat> interesting i said that because i'm trying to say path even if the past twists and turns and meanders even if the past comes back around maybe you feel like you're in cycles that you feel in certain ways you're dealing with situations that know they're not the same but they're causing the same energies arise within you, within you as the past uh, there's been a big awakening energy come through as well. But red butterflies are coming through strongly. And the red butterflies, uh, when they come through and channel to me, are the the spirit guides who help you clear your blood lineage, your blood, your your blood ties, your your ancestral karmatic cycles. Like you guys are the ones who are the miracle, you are the miracle within your family, within your community, within the place where you are incarnated, within the friendship group that you are, you are the miracle, right? Because you're the one who's clearing your bloodline and you're clearing it through flowing through chaos. You're clearing it through building hope and stability in uncertainty and instability. You're clearing it by acting in ways that, and breaking cycles that have not been broken for centuries for your family you will know what they are for you you know miracles believing in more some of these for some of you the different cycles that you're here to cleanse is to do with change is to do with believing in more okay breaking through this barrier that may be uh, you know you guys you're gonna be the abundant ones in in this lifetime and i mean that spiritually and uh materially as well like if your family's never broke past a certain point maybe you guys like you're like the entrepreneurs of your family or the um independent thinkers or the you're setting up your own business or you think differently maybe to the rest of your family maybe you know the mind the way that your mind works the way you view the world the way that you see life and what you see for yourself you're never satisfied with just settling you're never satisfied unless you feel a deep magical purpose unless you feel like uh you are connecting with this deeper energy of life and you seek for that because you feel deeper than a lot of those or maybe you feel like you've always felt deeper than a lot of those around you and this is why you search for this energy of miracle this is why you follow the path down the chaos and you know it's all written you're walking into what's hidden still written and this miracle is coming and you know what the only way you could ever get to this waterfall is through the jungle is through that dark jungle remember when we said you're walking through uncertainty well imagine this is actually where it's leading you to you don't just appear in this waterfall you know what i mean the thing that i'm getting in my head is if we, if we went to this in real life you guys we'd probably have to walk through bugs we'd have to walk through branches untrodden paths you have to walk through untrodden paths to get to your miracles and that's what you're doing that's why sometimes it feels wrong and unfamiliar because there's no one to maybe compare to around you and i'm not saying we should compare but a lot of the time we compare to gain some type of stability or reassurance but for you guys because you're walking a path that is untrodden there isn't really many people to compare to and i feel like maybe um you know, you're going to be meeting soul tribe who are in similar positions. You meet like-minded people. Yeah. But then maybe there's a few people that you will meet who are on this same shared path, just flipped out and mirrored in a different way. You know, the same, but different. We share the same emotions, but different experiences as people who too wish to walk this untrodden path. But just remember, I know I keep going around in crazy loops, but Spirit's saying the path you walk is untrodden and that's why you're leading to a miracle, but that's also why you will question yourself the most, whether something is right, whether something is wrong, whether something is meant to be, because a lot of the things that you do this lifetime and that you will do are new, they're new energies, they're new unlocking energies within your blood lineage and your family, your path is not going to look like anybody else's, anybody else's around you or anybody else's in your family or you know, even more than you could imagine, 
All you have to do is have the trust to keep doing what you're doing and to keep following your intuition, um, making ourselves that, that flexible container for where we're being led to. We can't control the things that happen in our lives, but we do have a certain amount of control when it comes to the way that we perceive situations, the way that we are able to be flexible and flowing with the paths that we are taken down. Really, the only thing we have control of is our own mind and container to choose which side and whether it's good or bad they both teach us if you're feeling lost if you're feeling dark and depressed that is a place you were supposed to be to you know discover to have that to have the layers ripped away to see the bare roots of your soul okay that's what those darknesses do they lead you to the deepest depths of your being um and you know, if we're in the light, we're there to embrace the light. And what this is really saying as well, the message coming through is that you are somebody who's going to experience an array and a range of emotions this life and some very intense too. But know that there's nothing you need to fix about yourself, that actually a lot of the experiences that you have are for the collective in a way that there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be people you're, you're able to heal through conversations, okay, through your energy because of what you've been through. A lot of the things that you go through in this life yeah they're for you to clear uh healing past trauma and ancestral cycles but they're also for the collective and they're also for you to help heal others too by example because you will come into contact with people where you get into conversations and maybe the littlest thing to you is like a major life thing for them you know you put you go through exactly what you're meant to go through for the experiences that you're being shaped and aligned with and a lot of those we can't see yet you know um i feel like i want to pull a card but i also want to leave it here but i'm going to pull one or uh one tarot card for you guys yep the ten of swords reversed I, yes this is is this not the card we talked about earlier the ten of swords this is the stage within the mental cycle where our brain gives up and it's in the giving up we circle back round to the ace of swords which is new clarity but you see how this is reversed we're at the end of this mental cycle we're at the end we're at that breaking point of feeling either defeated or at or, or at a release even feeling defeated or at a release because we're releasing the weight the weight is becoming lifted um through this energy of breaking away freedom exploring and life and living and what makes us feel alive following what makes us feel alive no matter if that's deemed to be good or bad you know just following where your intuition calls but with the ten of swords this is about endings you know you could be going through an ending or something could have already happened but with this reverse it's different because the ten of swords is when something's ended that we're not we're still we're in the hanging head stage, right? So maybe there's things that have, there's people you're not in contact with anymore that you've had maybe endings with that maybe mentally or energetically or emotionally, we're still healing those cycles, you know, we're still moving through that. Maybe this is that you've recently have been going through a kind of new type of spiritual awakening or ego death or you know you've been cutting connections out or you've been cutting old mindsets out or there's something about letting go but within the struggle of this letting go we're learning a lot about ourselves because no letting go isn't easy you know letting go isn't easy and that's where we learn the most life lessons is in this ten of swords stage reversed because it can feel paralyzing at points because mentally it's like the Ten of Swords to me, again, with the Hierophant, it's like we know what we should do. Sometimes uh, what we tell ourselves we should do or what we feel is right is not always what feels the best and, and sometimes it's the hardest. Sometimes we're faced with paths that are either, you know, comfortable or uncomfortable. And sometimes we know deep in our soul that the uncomfortable path is the path that we wish to take. But then it's all the battle of our ego and seeing if we can really do that, if we feel strong enough to do that, if we feel capable enough to do that. And it's in this journey that it's in this story that creates your journey. It's in this part here that creates the journey okay it's not about how you fall it's not about how long you fall down it's not about what even happened okay it's partly but it's not what it's about is about you what it's about is about learning about your mind because in these situations where we're pulled through these heavy denser energies or we're we're pushed into uh being flexible our mind starts to act in ways that we didn't know it could we realize how flexible we are as a spirit where we have no choice to be
okay but we have no choice to be we learn and the hierophant here you are a spiritual teacher okay there's no there's no going about this any other way right you have a deeper awareness to life you have a deeper understanding you've been through epiphanies you have learned life lessons you take nuggets of gold with you through each and every journey and even if you don't like it even if you don't always want to speak about uh, your your experiences or your you know, you give your advice to certain people, but you guys, you have to know what a power that you hold. You're seen with such a mystery that you hold this spotlight of light on you. This is what your energy feels like to people when they come into contact with you. You feel bright, but look, you also reveal the shadows and you're not afraid to reveal the shadows because you've met your own shadows, okay? You're not ashamed. There's a big part of like, uh energy coming through of releasing shame and like just embracing the shadows embracing all parts of the journey because as you as the hierophant you know that both are needed within this pit one picture you know that the spot the light is needed to shine on but you also know you need the shadow too because doesn't it add energy to this to this picture you know, to have this shadow lurking, it's like the unknown, I don't know, there's something about your energy people can't quite put their finger on, and it's, it's specifically from this, it's from these times of you going through, and traveling through the depths and the darknesses of your emotions, of your soul, through the experiences you've been through, and actually coming out flexible, and coming out weaved into a new form of beauty, um, and yeah, the high priestess wow so your intuition is on point you're getting dream premonitions your your third eye is so awakened your third eye is so expansive and it's almost as if you know what's coming but you don't know what's coming and that's okay because you know you don't need to know everything but you have these intuitive nudges yeah your your awakenings to your own inner power too of your intuition of your gifts i'm also getting um like a very energy of like beauty through accepting yourself accepting your body accepting your appearance accepting what is maybe accepting this high priestess energy within you because no it's not accepted everywhere within society sometimes you know there is that thing have you ever heard of that uh inner witch wound um you know maybe some of you in the past at the beginning of your spiritual journey or maybe now who knows maybe it's like <clears throat> taking a while for you to embrace and accept your true gifts because we always doubt ourselves especially with like our intuition when we read tower and things i'm always doubting myself i think it's normal you know i don't think there's anyone who truly does because it's it's the strength gained through deciding to blindly ignore that doubt and trust your intuition that creates this energy you know if something was so sure where's the challenge you know there's no then there doesn't need to be trust in ourselves to make a decision when it's so clear and actually it's trusting in ourselves and it's in that whole process that we learn the most because we ask ourselves questions of well what do i really want should we even know what we really want should we even know what where we're supposed to be going like these are the things that unlock these pathways within your brain when you're met with the hidden when you're met with the uncertain you know anyway you are this high priestess so expect the hidden things coming to light the yeah this energy of the hidden this energy of mystery and the high priestess and the hierophant come out one after the other like you guys i hope you know how powerful your intuition is i hope you know how powerful your voice is how powerful your perspectives are how powerful you are as just one single person to create a ripple effect of change because the things that you tell people they tell other people the things that you know what i mean like you are a ripple you are a rock that has been put in your family that has been put in this place right here to be the ripple you are the rock to be the ripple that is the affirmation for this reading you guys i am the rock to create the ripple that's where i'm going to leave it i will speak to you all very soon my beautiful angels i hope you're having a good or a bad or just a day because nothing you know no good no bad whatever it turns out to be is meant to be so I love you so much and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah.